every additional bike lane makes it better and I'll be able to ride more often with my daughter. It's better for both of us. The people commute. They need safer routes, also for recreational purposes. We need to get to John Michael's Mile safe. Well, it's important so we don't have any more ghost bikes. Like, I've been putting ghost bikes up for the last 10 years, and uh, it's about time that cars learn that bikes have to share the road also. Just want to thank everybody for coming and uh, celebrate this huge victory on Northern. We're going on an eight mile loop um, through the various parks in Eastern Queens and as you'll see some of them are complete and some of these new protected bike lanes are in the process of being built. The idea behind this project uh, is essentially to create a way for the children of Eastern Queens to be able to go to their parks uh, without having the stress of having to deal with cars and without cars having to worry about the kids also. all about safety and community and revitalization supporting our businesses. It's safe streets, bicycle lanes, pedestrian improvements are good for business, right. are good for the economy, are good for revitalization. The reason why we picked this place to stop is at that intersection where those cars are turning right now, there was a gentleman by the name of Michael Shankman who lived in Kew Gardens Hills in Flushing. And uh, he was riding his bike like he did every day. And he was also a former driving instructor, so he knew the rules of the road. He was riding down Northern Boulevard to go to the Joe Michaels Mile, and a speeding driver hit and killed him. So Mr. Shankman's death really spurred the cyclist community, the Douglaston community, the whole Eastern Queens community to come together and say, we must make Northern Boulevard safer. And here we are a year and a half later and we're celebrating the addition of a protected bike lane on Northern Boulevard. It's been a dangerous spot for decades. Uh, it's had a consistently high volume of crashes and fatalities. Uh, ever since the Vision Zero program began, Northern Boulevard has been a designated Vision Zero priority corridor. You never know whether the car's going to hit you or not. They don't pay attention on the road. Being on their cell phones, very dangerous. Now you have a little bit of cushion. You can ride with, 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 with care. Now we hope that people with strollers, walkers, wheelchairs, everybody can uh, access, first of all, the public street and also Joe Michaels Mile, which is a great flat stretch, which is perfect for all kinds of recreation. Well, accessibility, you know, uh, everybody who's got a bike's got that opportunity to be a part of the community, to ride, be healthy. We're now starting to see the park space expanding outward onto the street where people feel like their parks are not just confined to the parks themselves, but also to the green space right in front of it. Rather than driving with their bike on top of their car, inside of their car, they can take the bike all the way to the entrance. It's, it's a complete shift in dynamics to how you're starting to see people use cutting 